Hi, welcome to Insights. I'm Denise. I'm hoping you're having a super fantastic day. Today's insight is particularly targeted at those of us who love the Lord, who call him our Lord and Savior, who followed 1 John 1, 9, which says, if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Why did I quote that scripture? Because I'm going to read scripture today. Everything I say to you will be based on the word of God. And we know the word of God is infallible. That means it's incapable of any error. So if we're going to trust the word of God in one area, we must trust it in totality. We must accept it exactly as it is because the word of God is truth and today we need truth so before I get into the meat of the program I just want to pray that Holy Spirit will take over so now I shall pray father we come to you in the name of your son Jesus we thank you that you're the God who answers by fire you're the God who knows everything you're the God who's omniscient omnipresent and omnipotent and on that basis we come knowing that you have it all under control. We know that you're the God who is hearing us right now. I said before you call, I've already answered. And we're asking Holy Spirit now to awaken our hearts and mind to receive the word with gladness, to allow the word, because the word of God says in Hebrews that it cuts, it pierces, it divides, it asunder. So I declare the word of God will cut away any appendages, anything that will stop us from seeing, we remove scales from our eyes so that we can see. So today receive the word with gladness. Holy Spirit, hover and brood over every chaos that may be on minds, the minds of your people, and bring order to our lives, our hearts right now, in the name of Jesus. Today's program is called, It's the Word. It's the Word. I am going to read the Word of God to you. You know, I'm looking back at the book of Judges. Before, I'm going to give you a little preamble. Judges follows Joshua. Joshua was a leader at the time. Joshua did what he was supposed to do. But then a time of turning away from the Lord ensued. The people of God, the Israelites, turn away from the Lord. And that seems so familiar. Some of us have turned away from the Lord. Some of us turn away from his instructions, his directions, his, his particular precepts. And we've gone our own way. But he's a God of mercy. He reminds them, I'm a God who keeps covenant, but I'm going to judge you. I'm going to deal with what's happening. And so then the, the enemies came in and they were defeated and it seemed as though life was so chaotic and today it seems as though life is chaotic. You know, Daniel 7, 21, it says that the horn of the enemy prevailed against the people of God, but 22 says until the ancient of days arose and he brought judgment, he pronounced judgment in the favor of the saints. So we're going to look at the book of Judges, Judges chapter 5. And why we're looking at Judges chapter 5 is the song of Deborah. Deborah went out to battle with Barak. The word of God says that the Lord told her, go speak to Barak. Let him know that when you go fight, that I will give you the victory. All victory today comes from the Lord. The only way we're going to receive victory today is by trusting the infallible word of the Lord. That's what we're going to use as the basis. So here these were the children of Israel doing their own thing and the world seemed to be doing its own thing. We think we have all the answers. We become like little demigods and we think that we can fix everything. But God's word is sure. It's the basis for our living. It's a foundation and a root for our living. The, 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 the framework for us to be able to move into another level. And so where I'm going to read the word this morning is Joshua, uh, sorry, it's Judges chapter 5, right after the book of Joshua. And so Deborah is singing a song. This song she's singing, it's a song of Deborah. It says, on the day that Deborah and Barak, son of Abinoam, sang this song, when the princes in Israel take the lead. That's what seemed to be missing. We need to take the lead as the people of God. He calls us kings and priests, but the apostles, their leaders, their pastors, their teachers, the fivefold ministry that need to take the lead. And she's saying, when this happened, when the princes the is, uh, in Israel take the lead, when the people willingly offer themselves, when the people agree, when we work in tandem, when we work as a team, then we can follow what God is saying and bring about great change that is needed in our society today. And it says, praise the Lord. Yes, the Lord is to be praised. Hear this, you king, you kings. Yes, the word of God is speaking. Listen, you rulers. I even, I will sing to the Lord. I will praise the Lord, the God of Israel in song. When you, Lord, went out from Seir, when you marched from the land of Edom, the earth shook, the heavens poured, the clouds poured down water, the mountains quaked before the Lord, the one of Sinai. When God shows up on the scene, the earth has to shake. There have been earthworks in diverse places, and there have been um, volcanoes, and I know volcanic eruptions, and I know God is a God who hears our cry, even though we would have fallen, just like Israel fell. God still say I'm a covenant keeping God and I am the one who shows mercy 
uh, before the Lord God of Israel. In the days of Shamgar, son of Anath, in the days of Jael, the highways were abandoned. Yes, it seems as though the highways are abandoned. People are running and not knowing where to go. There seem to be such chaos. Travelers took to winding paths, winding paths, a direct path to show you where you're supposed to go direct to the Lord Jesus Christ. But it seems as though they're winding paths, their lies, their deceptions. There's all kinds of things happening in our society today. And can we sit still? Hmm. Villagers and Israel will not fight. They will not fight. Then they held back until I, Deborah, arose. Until I arose, a mother in Israel. Who arose? A mother in Israel. A leader arose. The leaders have to arise and follow the precepts of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because this is a time in our lives that we have to fight for our lives. This is a time we've never experienced before. We said it's unprecedented. These are uncharted waters, but they're not uncharted for our God. Our God is still the one who has the blueprint, who has the plan, but it's here in his word. We have to follow his word. Remember, it's infallible in incapable of any flaw and she arose as a mother yes the intercessors rising up now the women rising up now i'm speaking to the people of god remember this program is for those of us who say first john one and who confess our sins god chose new leaders right god chose new leaders Come on. When war came to the city gates, but not a shield or spear was seen among 40,000 in Israel. Ah, not a shield or spear. It seemed as though the people didn't have anything to fight. But God is here with us. He goes before us. He makes every crooked path straight. When my heart is with Israel, princess, with the willing volunteers among the people, praise the Lord, with the willing volunteers, we have to volunteer and work along with the Lord Jesus Christ. You who ride on white donkeys, sitting on your saddle blankets, and you who walk along the road, consider the voice of the singers at the watering places. They recite the victories of the Lord, the victories of his villagers in Israel. Then the people of the Lord went down to the city gates. Wake up, wake up, Deborah. Wake up, wake up. Break out in song. Arise, Barak. This message is to the leaders, to the leaders to arise. It says who they were waiting for Deborah to come, a leader, to stand up for the Lord Jesus Christ. And then she brought along Barak, a leader, to come on. It says, wake up, wake up, break out in, break out in song. Break out in song. Arise, Barak. Take captive your captives. Take captive your captives. Take captive your captives. We seemingly have been captivated. We seem to have been placed as prisoners. But the Lord Jesus Christ says, take captive your captives. The remnant of the nobles came down. What happened? The remnant. There's always a remnant. God said to Elijah, there's 7,000 who have not bowed the knee. That was a critical time and a pivotal time in the time of Israel as it is now for us as the people of God. But the remnant, there's always a remnant. And it was the nobles. God is calling you to be noble. He's saying, don't be like the put your head in the sand and hope that things will fix themselves no these people actively actively engage in a war this is a song after the war they went out and this one lady Jael Jael who was a tank dweller seemingly a nondescript person but she got to be listed in the Bible as a tank dweller who did what God called her to do. And what she did, she took the peg. She used what was wrong in her tent and she used a hammer and she destroyed the king, the leader of the enemy's camp. So God want us to stand up and be counted and he's calling us. Now I'm going to drop down to verse 23. You need to read it all yourself as people of God. You need to read it all. But I'm going to drop down to verse 23. It says, curse mirrors said the angel of the Lord, curse its people bitterly. Why? Because they did not come to help the Lord, to help the Lord against the mighty. They did not come to help. You cannot get to sit back and do nothing. You have to arise and stand up and be counted. God is calling you out. He says the leaders get up and stand up for what the word of God says. I'm using the word of God. Remember, it's the word. Today's insight, it's the word. It's not my word. And if you believe the word, according to 1 John 1, and if you believe the word, Jeremiah 3, verse 3, to call on me and I will answer and show you great and mighty things, you cannot be cherry picking the word. You have to receive it all. And he says, curse. For those who did not help the Lord, he's calling us out to help, to help against the mighty. The enemy seemed to be mighty today, but God is calling us. And it says, most blessed among women, she was blessed because of what she stood up for. And then it goes on to say her hand reached a tent peg and she did what God called her to do. But drop down to verse 31. So may all your enemies perish, Lord, but may all who love you be like the sun when it rises in its strength. Then the land had peace for 40 years. We could do with some peace now, but the land is waiting to work. 
word of God said that creation is growing for the sons of God to arise. We need to arise and fulfill our mandate. Arise and be counted as the ones who stand for righteousness, who stand, the, the word of God says, that he, he goes before us, making the crooked path straight. So we don't have to be afraid. He said, fear not, I am with you. Lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the age. So the people of God today, I'm saying to you, stand up and be counted for righteousness. Stand up and be counted for the Lord. The Lord loves you. He has called you. He said, you're not going alone. My spirit is with you. Remember, I'm the God of all power, all strength and dominion. And if you believe me in one aspect, believe me in all aspects. It's the word. God bless you. Shalom.